California, a state that's battling severe drought and catastrophic floods. What's even more intriguing is their planned solution, a massive dam that's been on the table since the 1950s, but only now is being actualized. A massive project estimated to cost around $4 billion. Strap in as we take you through this intriguing journey of California's water crisis. Picture California, the Golden State, home to Hollywood, Silicon Valley, stunning beaches, and expansive desert landscapes. Yet behind the picturesque beauty lies a sobering reality. California is enduring a major drought. In October 2021, the governor declared a statewide drought emergency, urging Californians to reduce their water consumption by 15%. Here we are in June 2023, and the situation hasn't improved, it's worsened. Despite the drought, California is also battling extreme floods. In a perplexing twist, even as the land thirsts for water, the skies have dumped so much rain that flooding has caused fatalities and significant damage. It seems that California is caught in an endless loop of too much yet too little water. So how did we get here? At the root of the problem is water management. California, despite experiencing heavy rainfall, has not been able to capture and store the deluge effectively. The result? The water drains away, flows into the ocean, and the drought persists. It's akin to trying to fill a bathtub without plugging the drain. A futile effort, and this is California's predicament. But this isn't the first time the Golden State has grappled with this issue. The mid-20th century was a similar story. To mitigate the problem, the state initiated the State Water Project. This ambitious project involved the construction of over 20 dams, the goal being to collect and store water during floods to be used during droughts. The crown jewel of this initiative was the Oroville Dam, resulting in Lake Oroville, America's largest reservoir. Another is Pyramid Lake, situated just outside Los Angeles. When the drought hits, the water stored in these reservoirs is channeled to where it's needed. An excellent plan on paper, but the problem continued. Despite these extensive efforts, California's drought flood cycle persisted. The system was overburdened, unable to keep up with the growing population and the increasing pressures of climate change. Plans to build more dams and canals in the 80s and 90s were shelved due to financial constraints and environmental concerns. The existing infrastructure seemed sufficient, until it wasn't. Fast forward to today and California is dusting off old plans and investing in a colossal undertaking, the Sites Reservoir. A valley north of Sacramento will be flooded, becoming a massive lake capable of storing more water than ever before. This $4 billion solution is a significant step forward in the state's water management strategy. Constructing the site's reservoir involves sealing gaps between the surrounding hills with several dams. It's a unique process and a mammoth task. Environmentalists have concerns, but with the persisting drought and the potential for more floods, it's a risk California is willing to take. The site's reservoir may not be a silver bullet for California's water problems, but it represents a critical step towards better water management. Climate change is increasing the severity of both droughts and floods, and California needs to be prepared to tackle this paradox. Will this venture be successful, or will the paradox persist? Only time will tell. For now, we're left marveling at the sheer scale of California's water crisis and the impressive measures the state is taking to address it. Until next time, this is your deep dive into the California water paradox and the $4 billion solution.